Hello, and welcome to another episode of Hearts and Iron 4 here on RT at Sky. I'm going to start a new campaign. Uh, let's see, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, British Raj. Uh, I think that we need to do Australia. We're going to try to take this Australia into communism and build a Pacific Empire. All right, as normal, first thing we need to do is split up our construction. You want to have a nice little balance of civilian to military factories because we need both um, let's see we will need both of those Get. And we're going to need our mobilization here because we won't be able to get any type of medical <coughs> any type of updates on our division Ah, uh, what's it called? Here we go. Division support companies. I won't be able to get these bottom ones. Alright, and as far as our Navy, <clears throat> one submarine and one convoy. And now where are we going to go here? We need never another Gallopy. We'll work our way down towards Empower the Worker. And, <clears throat> yeah. All right, let's fire up. Now uh, let's see here. We got seven divisions. March in here. This is our navy. They're gonna be focusing over here. Air power. We'll fly it into New Guinea. <coughs> Since that will most likely be our first war. And with this new update, we have to gain freedom. So we need 800 points plus another, I think it's 250, to claim our freedom. Let's see. Australia seeks distance from the Commonwealth. Abandon the Westminster system. Uh, let's see, can you change your comedy? Where is Empower the Workers? Alright, well, we can do an industrial concern. Oh, wait. Electronics, no thanks. I'm only sitting at 75. <coughs> I think I'll just wait until I can actually change something. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and pair these guys up. They need to be exercising. We need to get our army points up. It'll help us out. Alright, so a lot of stuff going on right now. <clears throat> Spain is at war. Germany has retaken the Rhineland. Which doesn't really mean much. Um, autonomy progress over 50. Alright, so we're working on that. We are at 404. <clears throat> so that's working. Oh, uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Industries, 1% research. Standard gauge. Mm. Alright. New research. Oh, we're going to need Marines. And still not able to increase our anything in our government yet. If you can take over the Dusties in Dutch East Indies without having anybody go to war with you, pretty lucky. I've done it once. 
you can actually do it and it will pay huge dividends all right 150 still can't do improve relations or industries uh, trade deal air base construction political power gain ideology boom leadership purges in the Soviet Union and we're almost at 50 percent <clears throat> the Olympic Games has concluded so now what we're going to do is uh, whenever we do go to war with the Dutch East Indies you set these guys to convoy escorts so they're not going to be engaged in anything they're going to escort our guys <coughs> across these island chains. Now, we have to do island hopping, so we got to go take this big one, then we got to take these little guys, then we got to take this one and this one, then we'll have to take these two in the center, then we'll have to take this one, and then we'll have to invade here and take this one, then we can focus here. The power of the worker should be available now. No? I surely will in a minute. Um, boom. There it goes. So it's a little method of taking over these islands. You gotta strategically hit them. Because if you don't, let's just say you go here, and then you take this middle one, and then you take here. Um, well, Great Britain has access to these bases, and they will quite literally just station a whole bunch of troops here. And then just keep invading down here. So you got to take out everything you can. New Zealand's not much of a threat. Uh, New Zealand's not really. Australia has more than significant. So we gotta gain communist support in our government. Time to build up the military. We're sitting at 11%. Well, we are gaining independence rather quickly. Italy has annexed Ethiopia, no surprise there. And there we go. <clears throat> Working on communism. Full blown. As long as you can get a good industry going, uh, you should be pretty good to go as far as um, militarily wise taking over these islands. Once you hit the mainland, your biggest problem, because by that time you're going to be at war with Great Britain, is the British Raj. So, you're definitely going to have to deal with that. And of course, if France declares war on you, just invade through here and just stack your troops, stack your troops, stack your troops, stack your troops, stack your troops. Uh, it's going to take a lot to get into the British Raj. All right, well that was awesome. One day of research. Promote reservist. Delegation to China. Our assault troops are through. Mm -hmm. 
So it's going to take us. I forget what it is. It's something plus. I think it's like 200 political points to declare freedom. All right. Um. Okay. Well, let's we'll see. I'll do partial mobilization. <coughs> On getting these radios for our troops. Let's not do like civilian something. Hmm. All right. Citizen military force. Okay, interesting. And National Spain defeated Republican Spain. And we are now 53% communist. So now we gotta look for the referendum. Boom, we are now. Communist Australia. All right, so we have completed the change into Communist Australia or the People's Republic. <clears throat> we are now red. Has been a long time coming. Now we're just pumping everything into industry. Let's see. All right, and let's check out. All right, so we need more rifle production. As far as I can tell. There we go. Now I know where our submarines are going to be based. There we go. Bring them back up here. Alright. So the last one we'll work on is Workers Paradise, join the containment. We'll do the worker's paradise. And then we'll, there's your submarine guy. All right, well that's it for this first episode of Communist Australia. Um, we will see where it goes here from here in episode two. Thank you for watching another episode here on RTS Guy. If you liked the video, um, subscribe, share, comment below. Thank you.